guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech. So uh, lately I thought of doing a video about uh, what is a host file. But when I realized that in order to do this I must first explain a few other things like DNS and IP. So today I'm going to speak about the IP address. If you know what is an IP you can just skip this video. Anyway, uh, if you know the network, uh, the internet is basically a bunch of computers speaking with each other and with other servers, devices, which are basically computers as well. Uh, in order for any device to speak to each other, they need to have an address. So, for example, if I want to send something to another computer, I need to know its address. I can't say just send it to my friend's computer or whatever, because uh, computers won't understand it. Now, uh, all of our in equipment, uh, computers and everything, is connected to routers, switches and a bunch of stuff like that, which uh, can navigate through all this network, which create actually this whole network. Now, uh, in order to speak to someone, uh, it goes the same with your phone. If you want to speak to a friend, you can just uh, tell your phone call uh, Johnny or whatever. You need to dial a number, you need to have some kind of number to call him. So an IP address is basically pretty much the same. You basically have an address uh, which uh, today consists of four uh, segments. So for example 192.168.1.1 for example uh, that one should be an internal IP. Uh, anyway, uh, it's, this is just an example, so as you see it's 192.168, this is the second uh, segment, dot one, this is the third, and the fourth is like then one. It's just an example. Uh, it can be, of course, another number as well, but basically this one uh, is uh, used uh, for internal addresses and usually for routers because this is the first address usually for the network, so that's uh, basically uh, one example. Now, uh, if I want to contact, for example, a computer in... I don't know, for example, I want to contact Facebook. Let's say I want to contact Facebook. So, uh, basically, yeah, um, you don't enter an IP address when you try to enter to Facebook in your browser. You enter facebook.com or www.https, whatever. Um, basically, uh, what uh, is going on is it's your browser, not exactly your browser, I'll explain it what is a DNS next time, but uh, basically uh, there's a translation from the hostname, from the name of, for example, facebook.com, to an IP address. Uh, and then the, your computer knows that he needs to uh, call, let's say, let's call it like that, to the IP address of Facebook so you'll get Facebook. Computer will call this number, this. It's not exactly calling, but let's not go into this. Basically it will uh, navigate to Facebook with the IP address, although you'll still uh, have to enter facebook.com and you'll still see facebook.com, you won't see usually the IP address, but it is there. Uh, it goes pretty much the same with IPv6 now. Uh, don't get panicked. There are two major types of uh, addresses uh, in network environments. One is IPv4, which I just said, the example with four segments. It's uh, made of uh, 32, uh, 32 uh, bits uh, in binary, which are explained, translated to decimals. So, for example, 192 is one segment, it's uh, eight uh, bits or one byte, as I really want to call it. And this is translated to, for example, 192, translated from binary code, which computers understand, which one network understands. And uh, then you get an IP address from four segments, which are a total of 32 bits. That's IPv4. Now, because uh, in some point uh, in uh, history, I don't know exactly which year, uh, people started to notice that uh, there are more and more computers in the world and more uh, network uh, environments and IP addresses aren't, uh, you know, unlimited. Uh, 32 bits, um, I don't know exactly the number of how many IPs you can get, plus there are reserved IPs for broadcast, for the network, for your routers, for uh, our bunch of stuff. 
and there are reserved IPs for internal networks, so it makes things a little bit harder. Uh, that's why they came up with uh, IPv6. Basically, this is a newer version of IP which isn't very much used for today, until today. But this one consists of 128 bits, uh, which, is, which are translated not to decimals, but hexadecimals. Which means that uh, you don't uh, uh, count from 1 to 9, from 0 to 9 I would call it, but you come from uh, 0 to F. So basically it's uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. That's how it goes. Now, uh, that's hexadecimal. It means uh, it's a base of 16. So uh, it's bigger than 10, higher than 10. As you know, uh, you come from 0 to 9, which is in base of 10. So hexadecimals are going more than that. So that's uh, basically pretty much what is an IPv6 now. Uh, IPv6 works a little bit differently. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to have an, uh, some sort of DHCP in your network. Now DHCP, I won't explain in too much details, but DHCP is actually a service that is uh, installed probably on your home network router and uh, you get uh, a DHCP from your provider as well probably. Uh, basically, what DHCP does is just say, okay, hi guy, you are a new computer in my network, I'll give you an IP address, so you'll have an address. Uh, so, uh, that's what DHCP does, it just gives addresses and it has few rules, it can't give the same address for two computers and other stuff like that, but let's not get into this too much. So, basically, uh, the network, as I said, consists of addresses, you need to contact with an address, you can just say uh, go to Facebook and that's it. Uh, it translates to an IP address behind the scene or however you want to call it and then you can navigate uh, into it. Now uh, I'll give you some um, uh, links uh, to Wikipedia if you want to read uh, in more details what is an IP address and uh, what is an IP address v4 or IPv6 for example Basically, that's pretty much it for today, for IP uh, lesson, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'll see you next time uh, with an explanation what is a DNS. So, uh, have fun, as always, subscribe, uh, enter to www.demostech.net uh, and, uh, as always, like uh, the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and when you subscribe, don't forget to check the V uh, to get other updates on your videos. For example, the next video will be DNS explanation. So, yeah, subscribe and have fun! Yeah, see here, all those info, all those stuff. Nothing really interesting, they just try to buy your attention so you'll